release date and price. Google has refrained from disclosing an official unveiling date for the Pixel 8, a practice commonly observed until a few weeks before the official reveal. However, a high degree of confidence can be placed in its anticipated introduction in the latter part of 2023. More specifically, early indications point toward an early October 23 launch. This estimation is grounded in Google's historical pattern of phone releases, as illustrated by past milestones. Except for the exceptional circumstances of 2020 during the global pandemic, Google has consistently unveiled its new phone models in October. The Nexus 5X's October release further underlines this trend. Given this historical context, a reasonable inference suggests that Google will adhere to this customary practice for its forthcoming generation of smartphones, while Google revealed the current-gen Pixel 7 at the I.O. conference in May 2022, it was likely driven by high-profile leaks. Unlike this year's I.O. event, Google chose not to disclose the Pixel 8 and Pixel 8 Pro, maintaining an element of surprise. Leaker Yogesh Brar has had, however, provided insights into potential aspects ranging from release dates to camera specifications, determining pricing at present proves to be a more complex endeavor. Google previously maintained pricing parity between the Pixel 7 and Pixel 6 series, aligning them with the previous generation Pixel 6 and Pixel 6 Pro models. The standard variant was priced at pound 599 slash dollar 599, while the flagship commanded pound 850 slash dollar 899. While it's tempting to anticipate a repeat of this pricing strategy for the upcoming year, currency exchange fluctuations are impacting material costs. Notably, the Pixel 7a entered the market at a pound 50 slash dollar 50 premium over the Pixel 6a, signaling the possibility of a higher price point for the Pixel 8. While official pricing details from Google are yet to emerge, Yogesh Bar's preliminary leak suggests an initial price range of $649 to $699 for the Pixel 8. This projection implies a potential price increase of $50 to $100 compared to the previous generation. This adjustment aligns with economic trends and inflation, reflecting Google's adaptive pricing approach, the Pixel series, known for offering budget-friendly flagship devices, initiated with the Pixel 6 and 7 priced at $599, alongside their Pro variants at $899. However, the forthcoming Pixel 8 launch could signify a departure from this trend. Credible sources point toward a moderate price escalation in line with current market dynamics. This hypothesis is supported by the Pixel 7a's pricing trajectory, approaching the Pixel 7's launch price, furthermore, Google's market reach is poised for expansion. While the Pixel 7 family was available in only 17 countries, the Pixel 8 holds the potential for a more extensive global presence. Clues within the Pixel 8's warranty booklet, such as additional languages, indicate potential introductions in countries including Austria, Switzerland, Belgium, and Portugal. In conclusion, while official details remain pending, a thorough analysis of historical trends, credible leaks, and market dynamics suggests an early October 23 launch for the Pixel 8. This unveiling could bring about calculated pricing adjustments and a broader market presence. Reflecting Google's strategic responsiveness to changing economic conditions and consumer preferences. Display. The Pixel 8 retains the resolution and brightness of its predecessor while benefiting from an increased refresh rate and slightly reduced screen size. Conversely, the Pixel 8 Pro maintains its dimensions and refresh rate, yet showcases a subtly different resolution and enhanced brightness. Notable alterations occur in the Pixel 8's display, where the screen size contracts to 6.17 inches from its prior 6.32 inch dimension. The resolution and brightness persist at 2400 by 1080 and 1400 nits, respectively. Beyond the size reduction, the new display introduces an elevated refresh rate, advancing from 90Hz to a variable 120Hz refresh rate, capable of scaling down to 10Hz, as for the Pixel 8 Pro. Its display remains consistent in size at 6.7 inches, akin to the preceding Pro model. While the peak refresh rate remains unchanged, improvements are witnessed in the variable refresh rate, with the capacity to descend to 5 Hz. A marginal resolution alteration also manifests, measuring 2992 by 1344 as opposed to the previous 3120 by 1440. Notably, the peak brightness receives a 100 nit enhancement, elevating the Pro's luminance to 1600 nits. Camera Talking about the Pixel series, the camera is really important. 
Google's new version after the Nexus program is all about taking great photos. They combined good hardware with advanced software and AI-powered photo editing. In the past, Google usually used the same camera sensor for a long time. But they changed this with the Pixel 6, which used a different sensor than the Pixel 3. Now, it seems they might do something similar with this year's models, a developer named Kamila Wojciechowski found something interesting in Google's Camera Go app. They saw that the app supports something called Husky and Shinx, which helps with making photos look better. This method takes quick and slow pictures at the same time to make the photos look better. But the camera sensor called GN1 that's used in the Pixel 7 and 6 doesn't work well with this. This tells us that Google wants to change how their cameras work with the Pixel 8. In June, Camilla Wojciechowska shared more details about the cameras in the Pixel 8 phones. They talked about all the different sensors in the cameras. The Pixel 8 Pro has a 50MP Samsung ISIS LG N2 main sensor, a 64MP AMX787 wide-angle sensor, which is the same as the Pixel 7a, and a 58MP GM5 zoom sensor. The camera also has a microphone, flash, and a better sensor for making things look sharp. They even put a thermometer in the camera setup. The GN2 is better than the one in the Pixel 7. It can take pictures in low light and fast movement better. It can also record videos in 8K. The wide-angle sensor is much better too. It's four times better than the one on the Pixel 7 Pro, which helps when taking wide shots. But the Pixel 8 seems like it will be better at this, making night sight work with zoomed-in photos even at night. Lastly, Google might make their videos clearer using their photo unblur trick. There's a rumor that they're working on something called video unblur, which will do the same thing for videos as photo unblur does for photos. This would make old videos look better and more clear. Even though we don't know a lot about this yet, it shows Google is trying to make their videos look better too.